Welcome to Elevate Online, everybody. Welcome. You got a hair. Here, let me fix you up. Okay. Start again. I'm starting this time? Uh, welcome to Elevate Online. Welcome. This guy's got a bird at home. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. All right. Hey, today, uh, we're going to play a game. You know what it's called? What's it called? It's called Guess It. Guess It! What was that? Guess It! Do it again. Guess It! That's the theme song, everybody. It's called... All right, so here's how this game is going to work. We have Chandler over in the studio. Um, it's not even close to where we are. It's not right there. Um, and we have a green screen for him. So what's going to happen, Riley, you ready for this? We're going to describe the video that is happening behind Chandler. Yeah. Are you with me so far? Oh, I'm with you. How does he win, though? He has to guess correctly within 30 seconds. Wow. Okay, so you ready for the first video? Chandler over in the studio. You gotta do this. Miles away. You gotta do this. Sorry, because he's not near us, right? Chandler, do you, uh, you hear us? Chandler, you copy? Hi, guys. Uh, Mother Goose to Big Hen? Big big Hen? No, yeah. you're Mother Goose. Oh, I'm Mother Goose. Hi. This is no, Riley. No, we're Mother Goose. This is Riley. I'm Riley. Hi, guys. Okay. Are yep, gonna, all right. First one, ready? Okay, here we go. All right, remember, you got to guess it, and our judges will tell us if you're correct. Here we go. Okay, um, so in this video, uh, it's parking a... Parking lot. We're in a parking lot. Go. Oh, sort of has hair, sort of doesn't. The elevator's out of order. Uh, a, a cauldron of types. He's carrying it. Uh, blue mittens. What? It's and too hot, so yes. It's too hot. It's but, too hot. But the beautiful thing is that everything that was... Is it Kevin the... with the chili? Yes! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Good job. All right, Chandler, you ready for round two? Sorry. All right, here we go. So we're starting in three, two, one. Okay, so uh, we've got, this one is significantly less hair than the first one. Yeah, no hair going yeah, on just, here. Just a baldy. Yeah. Um, and, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so we've got uh, like, a, like a hurricane of uh, smelly stuff and, coming out of this non-haired thing. May may or may not be at the zoo. Of, yeah. And also the southern region, if you catch my drift. I'm getting poop and fart uh, so far. Well, you're on the right track. Uh, but think a hairless. Naked mole rat farts. No. Uh, much bigger. Uh, Watery. Think. think. Hippo, hippo flinging poop with the thing in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you search? <laughs> All right, Chandler, you ready? Yes, sir, I am ready. Right, round three. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so this video... Riley, how would you describe this? Um, I'd, you know, I'd suggest taking your vitamins. Yep. But why? I don't know why, though. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so now um, pull hair back and get all my face cleansers together. Mm. Okay. It, okay, so this person is now kind of showing you... Is this my wife tutorial video? <laughs> <laughs> he goes three for three, everybody! Yeah! I haven't even watched that video, but I knew it. <laughs> Chandler, three for three. Did you think he could do it? I didn't. He, he can't catch. He can't catch fish. And he's not that tall. But hey, we have a prize for you Taller in the studio. You. In the studio, summer camp is gonna be amazing. But right now, <laughs> what? Worship. Oh, it's worship. time for worship. <laughs> he goes, he goes, what? <laughs> Later. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And that, and that was guess it. That was guess it. Hey. Welcome to another week of Elevate Worship Quarantine Edition. Let's go. Your favor waits within the future My dreams are small compared to yours Why should I worry about tomorrow When I know that all I gotta do Is trust you, Lord yeah, Everything's gonna be alright and every little thing's gonna be just fine 
whether I can see it now, I know you work it out for good. Every little thing, everything to be all right. God, I know you don't need no one to advise you. You probably do a better job running the world than I do. I just thought I'd remind you, I've been trying to find you. It feel like Satan working overtime times too. And they say if it doesn't kill you, it refines you. And I'm just trying to live and that's bigger than survival. It's been a long night. It's been a long fight. So just remind me now, everything will be all right here. Oh, 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 oh. doesn't go my way I know that it is not the end I'm trusting you a better plans I haven't even dreamt of yet I know that you were for me when everything's against me and I put all my hope in you Jesus, I will trust you, and I will trust you, and I know you never fail, I will trust you, Jesus, I will, I will, Jesus, I will, Ooh. Don't know how the story is, but I know that you finished it. I'll close my eyes and just let go and fall into your holy hope. There's safety in the falling when I surrender fully. I put all my hope in you. Jesus, I will trust you. I will trust you. I know you never fear. I 
will trust you. Jesus, I will trust you. I will trust you. I know you never fear. I will trust you. Jesus, I will. I will. Jesus, I will. God, you're in control. Every little detail, you are close. I'll never be alone here in the unknown. The power of your presence fills my soul. Now everything I know is God, you're in control. And every little detail, you are close. Never be alone. Here in the unknown, the power of your presence fills my soul. Jesus, I will trust you. I will trust you. And I know you never fail. I will trust you. Jesus, I will trust you. I will trust you. And I know you never fail. I will trust you. Jesus, I will, I will. Jesus, I will, I will. Jesus, I will trust you. I will trust you. I know you never fail. I will trust you. Jesus, I will. Father, we trust you in every season, every circumstance. You are in control, though at times it may not seem like it, Father. You have a plan. You have a purpose. We have a purpose in your plan, God. So we submit our lives to you, and we give you this time because it is yours. We love you. Your name, amen. Hey everyone, it's so good to be here with you. I miss you guys so much. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're gonna get, continue in our Job series this weekend. So go ahead, get your Bible or pull it up on your phone. We're gonna be in Job chapter two. But before we jump into it, I wanna ask you guys a question. Have you ever felt like everything is going wrong in your life? Like nothing right is happening? I talked about this a lot, but I used to play soccer and I used to do track and field and cross country. So I was doing all three of those sports in middle school and in high school. Unfortunately, I got injured a lot, more than I can even probably tell you, but um, I would get concussions and broken toes, broken legs. I rolled my ankles all the time. I had stomach issues and back problems and all this stuff would happen one thing after the other. And I was super bummed because sports was everything. I loved the games, I loved the track meets, I loved everything. And when I wasn't playing, it felt like I didn't know who I was. And so I was mad at God because I felt like he let this happen to me, like he was letting me get hurt. And it was so frustrating because it felt like I never caught a break. Even now, I have stomach problems and I have back problems and I still can't do all the physical activities that I want to do. And it can be frustrating because it feels like I never get a break. Last week, Chandler talked about this guy named Job who uh, ha has gone through a lot. There's a lot that happens to Job. He loses his family. He loses his servants, his animals. He loses a lot almost everything in his life. And in chapter two, Job is now losing his health. Um, so we're going to jump right into it. Job chapter two, verse seven. And it says, so Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores. 
from the soles of his feet to the crown of his head. Job then tries to scrape off these sores with broken pieces of pottery, and he isolates himself from the rest of his community. So Job not only loses his family, his job, his everything, he's now in a lot of pain, and he feels so, so alone. I think that most of us can relate to Job. I don't think, hopefully, you haven't lost everything like Job has, but I think we can all relate to losing something that's important to us, whether that's the ability to play sports, the ability to hang out with friends. Maybe you've lost a love, or someone that you really love. Whatever it is, I think we can all relate to losing something that's really important to us. So how does Job respond to this? How does he respond to this pain and this loss? In verse 9, Job's wife says, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. In verse 10, Job replies, You're talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God and not trouble? In all this, Job did not sin in what he said. So even Job's wife is telling Job, Dude, why are you following God? He's letting all this stuff happen to you. Why are you still trusting in him when all, you're having all this pain? But I love how Job says there's going to be good and there's going to be trouble and there's going to be everything in between. And through all of that, he trusts God and God is enough for him. I think a lot of times we expect that good people are going to get good things and that nothing bad will ever happen to someone who's good. But as we've seen throughout our lives, bad things do happen to good people, unfortunately. And this is exactly what happens to Job. We have an enemy who's trying to keep us separated from God, and there's so many things in our lives that get in our way and that might cause um, us to doubt God. But I love how in the midst of this, Job continues to put his faith and his trust in God. Now, I don't want to diminish what you're going through or what Job is going through because he's experiencing a lot of pain. And for you guys, you might be experiencing pain like I said, maybe losing a loved one, that's painful and that's hard and that's not something that we should take light about. We shouldn't talk like it's not a big deal because it is a big deal. Losing your health or, or losing a friend, all this stuff is really painful. But in the midst of all of that, God is right there beside us, comforting us and wanting us to turn to him in those times. Near the end of the chapter, um, Job's friends end up coming to see him, and once they look at him, they start bawling their eyes out. They start crying because they see how much pain he's in. And then um, they end up sitting with him for about a week, and they don't say anything. They don't say any words. They just, they're just there with him. For some of you guys, I, I think you're going through something similar that Job's going through. You're experiencing some pain. You feel alone, you feel like no one understands, you feel like the world is against you and one thing after the other keeps happening. But my encouragement to you is that God is still with you. God still loves you. When things are good, when things are bad, when things are hard, he's still with you and he still loves you. He never leaves you. No matter what your situation is, no matter what you believe, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter what, he's there for Tristan, Taryn, Devin, Elijah, Jake, Jack, Ari, Amanda, every one of you who are watching this. God is there with you, right beside you in the midst of your pain. And he is enough. He is everything that we need. So in closing... Maybe you aren't going through, maybe some of you guys are going through a painful time, but some of you maybe aren't. And for those of you who aren't, I want to encourage you to be there for people who are. That might look like calling them on the phone or Zoom calling or whatever that is. And maybe you don't even talk for like 30 minutes and you just sit there. That might be awkward, but they'll know that you're there for them. And they'll know that you love them just like God loves them. So when it feels like nothing's going your way and everything's going wrong, my encouragement to you is that God is still there 
and he is everything that we need and more. Next week, we're going to be talking about Job and his friends and how they go through this situation and how they process it. And so um, I'm excited for Chandler to talk about that next week. But I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Here's a, a picture of a seagull. But then here's a picture of a Pringles can. Here's one of a seagull with a Pringles can. Good luck, Maggie. Here's a here's a picture here's a picture of former president Barack Obama. Here's a picture of a current president of uh uh, uh Nes Nesquik. Nope, Nabisco. Nabisco. Say can you see your turn. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America and to the republic. One nation under